Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a how I revised all my GCSEs. I know the title says how I got all nines. I didn't get all nines, but I got three. So I got one in English language, one in English literature, and the other in media studies, and then two eights in history and maths, and four sevens in combined science, which counts as two grades, French, and business. If you're here to learn how to revise for GCSE dance, click off because I got five. <laughs> If you're here for English, math, I got you, but dance? No. So yeah, before I get into the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications down below to be notified every time I post a video. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, which is going to be on the screen and in the description. Let's just get into how I revise for my GCSEs. Okay, so the first subject I'm going to talk about is maths, dreaded maths, even though I take it the A level. It, it doesn't really add up. Anyway, so for maths, I was literally scraping by until the last possible second <laughs> so the problem i found when i was doing gcse maths was i was in class i was understand i was getting it i was doing questions practicing blah 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 and i would come to the test it's gone out the window i, I don't know how to do that basically i would not do as well my test as i was doing in class and that was my problem. And everyone I literally spoken to told me to do past papers and I just didn't want to hear it because I don't really enjoy maths unless I understand it. And obviously in the tests, I wasn't understanding it. So why would I go and do a practice paper if I'm not understanding it and then I don't like maths? Do you know what I mean? And then about a month before my final like GCSE maths exam, I was like, I'm just gonna have to do past papers because I knew I was capable of more than a six. I didn't want a six in my GCSEs. If the only way I can get higher is by practicing, I'm gonna have to practice. And so me and my friend who was in my math class, um, we literally used to go to school every morning at like 7 a.m. I know, <laughs> 7 a.m. At the end of the day, if you want something, work hard for it. And that's basically what I did. <laughs> I would go to school, sit in math class, and like my teacher would be there, but like only if I needed help like having a friend was so much better because we both motivate each other we both use our brains and together it, it was just good and yeah that's that's basically how i improved in my gccs obviously there's stages so you learn to consolidate and then you revise for like an exam in terms of learning if you're struggling in class i suggest like a textbook or youtube videos um this is the textbook that i use this is the scholastic gcse nine to one higher mathematics revision and exam practice and this is for all exam boards i'd probably recommend going for a textbook that's like specific to your exam board just because different exam boards like take different things and like to do well on an exam you need to know like what the exam is expecting from you and then obviously this is quite broad um in terms of, like teaching it would teach you what you need to know but not in terms of like how different exam boards would need you to know it if that makes sense i'll just show you an example page because i know like textbook layout is important i mean i know it is to me if i don't like the look of the textbook i'm not going to use it so, yeah this is the layout of the textbook i'll leave anything i mentioned down below in the description so yeah this will be there so this is an example of like a past paper that i would have been doing in the mornings so i got the printed out like booklet version from my school um but you can find loads of these online i'll link some websites down below that do maths um past papers so to summarize i would say make sure you understand what you're doing in class and if you don't definitely get a textbook they preferably like specific to your exam board but if you can't uh, one for like all exam boards the general one is okay and then once you've understood in class maybe practice it like the same day to consolidate your knowledge and then before revising make sure you do past papers okay so that is everything for math i'm now going to move on to science i don't really know if i'm the best person to be giving advice on science because personally i don't think i'm very good at science it's just not one of my strong points but i did come out with a 77 but it's purely because of the way i revised not really because i'm good at science again i think past papers in science would help i didn't actually do any because i didn't realize until after my gcse's that like mathsy and sciencey subjects i knew for maths but i didn't really know for science how important like exam um practice was the main way i revised were flashcards and as you can see um yeah flashcards for days so i did combine science because triple not for me so basically i would learn in lessons with my teacher as everyone does i would also compare like my class notes to the textbook i had the um a dexcel gcse pearson combined science textbook i'll put a picture on the screen that textbook was specific to my exam board i think science is really important that you have 
a textbook that is specific to your gram board. Eventually consolidate them down into a group of flashcards. So summarize, obviously notes in class, compare them to your exam board specific textbook and add to your notes, condense your notes into flashcards, learn all of your flashcards, and then a step that I didn't do, which I would strongly advise, exam practice. So we're now gonna move on to English literature and language. So in terms of literature, I studied Macbeth and A Christmas Carol. I feel like English is a very difficult subject to revise because it's quite a broad subject. It's like, where do we even start? How do you learn to revise language? The one resource that I wish I really had when I was studying for my English GCSEs is the First Rate Tutors ultimate English GCSE revision course. So first aid tutors actually have a GCSE revision course which is specifically for English which covers every single aspect of the English GCSE that you will ever need to know. They've got all the different books for English literature, everything you need to know for language papers one and two, literally everything. One thing I really really love about this course in particular is the fact that they have grade 9 model answers so essays that you can look at and like analyze and see what's different to yours compare yours and then when you have like um exams at my school we used to do like key challenges you can take ideas from the model answers and then apply them to your own and hopefully boost your grades of course literally has everything that you need to get a grade 9 in your english gcse another great thing is that it's only a one-time purchase so you don't have to keep paying monthly installments or anything you pay once and you have unlimited free access to every single video model answer everything that the course has to offer you can cater it like to yourself and the level that you're at the course covers everything from the very basic to the extensive like getting from like grade 8 to grade 9 or like just making sure you're 100% gonna get that grade 9. The fact that it's self-paced is also really helpful, it's not like you have to go through every single stage or every single video and watch through, you can kind of assess where you are and see what kind of videos you need or what kind of answers you need or what kind of grades you're looking at and where you want to be. So everything is available all in this one course for all types of students at all types of levels. So First Aid Tutors has actually given me access to like the full course. So I've had a look and now I wanna share it with you. So scrolling, this is literally everything that you get full access to. And as you can see, it's a very long scroll. So on the side, you've got course curriculum and your instructor. So if you press here, you can actually meet the designer of the course. Who's called Barra and she's an English tutor. She got a degree from King's College University and she created this course. She's an experienced teacher at primary and secondary school level, sixth form and even university level. So you've got a welcome video, meet your English teacher and understanding the specifications. So these are kind of like your introduction videos, aims, grading structures, which is all really important for you to know before your exam. These are all specific videos dedicated to different terminology all of the different types of language terminology that you could possibly need and an in-depth video speaking about every single one then you've got literature so if you were doing Macbeth for example these are all the different videos you've got context the genre of tragedy each act dedicated videos to each character each theme and then final videos of like exam paper practice or question practice so similarly to maths and science again exam practice is key to doing well especially grades eight and nine in any subject and so as you can see here we have a Macbeth exam question practice which is a level eight answer you're given around a 30 minute video of an in-depth walkthrough of an essay which is a level eight model answer and as you can see at the bottom you've got a download key which you can press to download the Macbeth model essay so if you would like to sign up to the course you can check the link in my description box it's going to be top end of the description and you can sign up make a one-time purchase and have unlimited access to over 150 videos all which can help you achieve a grade 9 in your English GCSEs. The last subject I'm going to be talking about is history. So I actually take history A level now. Um, I got an A at GCSE. I will say that I did have a really good teacher. However, that's in terms of like learning the content and the history exam is all about your like technique and how you write and the structure of your kind of answers. So in terms of learning content, I definitely say again, make as much notes as possible that you can in class. If there is a textbook, make sure you get it. If there's not, make as many notes as you can in class and ask questions. In terms of learning the content, I personally use Quizlet, however, I don't really like it. So I don't really think it's that effective. A Quizlet is kind of like online flashcards. Another really good um, 
like digital flashcard kind of website thing is Anki, which I only recently discovered, but I use it for my A-levels. So if I do make like a how revise for my A-levels, that would definitely, definitely be like a massive part. So yeah, just any kind of like flashcards because it's important to remember like dates, important people, treaties, like important things that just happen. It's always good to throw in a debt, which is dates, events, people and places. You can automatically get marks for your historical knowledge so yeah just definitely have like an overview of your course and also learn a few key depths like 1925 there was a million unemployed people in germany and in 1926 there was three million unemployed people in germany i don't know if germany is a gcse course but i do not see germany for a level and that's just a depth that i made myself learn for my pve do you see to improve your exam technique i would genuinely suggest writing an essay question giving it to your teacher and asking for feedback i don't know what structures that you guys use for essays but again pee great structure peel ptar whatever you guys use definitely use those structures before an exam i suggest like just checking with your teacher whether you need to write an instruction and conclusion or just go straight into the paragraphs i know like in source questions you don't need an instruction but you need a conclusion essay questions you need both how many paragraphs you're gonna write so that is all of the knowledge advice all of those things that i can give to you as an a-level student past gcse student so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you check out the first rate tutors um ultimate english revision course down below it's going to be top line of the description sign up i promise you won't regret it and get that grade nine so yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe turn my post notifications down below to be notified every time i post a video also make sure you follow me on instagram down on snapchat which is going to be on the screen and in the description and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.